Hmm. Alright, this is the uh, GoPro Hero 3 and um, probably have heard of it. It's a great little camera and um, I'm going to talk about how to get your pictures off. What I hear a lot is, you know, people have this camera, they hook it on their bike or their helmet, they do all, all this awesome footage and then they kind of don't know what to do with it. And the main reason why it's a little more difficult or different than your regular uh, digital camera is that the file sizes. I mean, you could have a 16, a 32, or even a 64 gigabyte uh, micro SD card. And if you just turn it on and let it run for hours, I mean, there's that's a huge amount. The file can just be huge, and you pull it over, and um, depending on what kind of editing software you have, could be difficult. Um, so <clears throat> I'm going to talk a little bit about that and do a little demo. Of what I do, it's not. Um, it's not necessarily the, the only way or the right way, it's just the way I do it. It's simple, it's cheap, and it gets the job done. And basically what I use is I, I pull over uh, my files using, um, well first of all I just copy the files over to my computer, then I use GoPro Studio uh, software, which is free, you just download it on the GoPro site. And I use that to basically divide up my chunks, my clips, so instead of having just you know, a 10 gigabyte, a couple 10 gigabyte files or whatever, I can get just the footage I want to divide it up. Um, it actually converts the files to an AVI or an MOV format you kind of to choose, and, th and, then, and then from that point you can edit it. Um, GoPro has their own little edit software. It's really basic, but um, it's useful, it's quick, and it kind of gets your job done if you just want a, just a real basic highlight real, you know, something um, something you've done. You can add music and um, it's a little restrictive. But if I don't do that, I can, I also will, once I have those AVIs or the, those MOV files, you can just use something like Movie Maker, which comes with Windows 7, or, you know, in this case, that's what I have, 7. Um, and that's free. And again, uh, it's not f real fancy. I have people will probably comment that it's, it's junk or something, but I mean, basically, it takes, allows me to take video clips, put them together, um, and put music on it, comments, or whatever, you know, just some basic stuff. So those are the two things I use, and they're free. GoPro Studio, download it free, and then Movie Maker, which comes with uh, Windows. So I'm going to do a little demo of how to do that. Um, I think it's kind of the quickest, easiest way for the average user. Now, if you're, you know, a pro surfer or something like that, then you're probably going to want something more advanced. Um, but uh, it gets the job done, so we'll, let's take a look and see how it goes. Okay, I connect my uh, GoPro to the PC, and you can see, um, you know, it prompts me to how do I want to import these pictures. So, you, you know, whatever means, you know, works for you, of course. Um, you know, there's tools like Picasa, Dropbox, whatever, uh, Photo Gallery. I, I like to just view it in the folder, okay? So, so if you look down here, what it does is, you know, removable disks, H, you can see it's DCIM, and um, you see these folders. So I'm just going to click on here, 100 go. Here it looks like, uh, finally, and I don't know if this one, so I'm going to grab, I'm just going to grab three files, and I'm actually just going to uh, copy, and then I'm over on the desktop, I created a folder called GoPro, and I'm going to paste those there. Okay, so that's going to take a moment here. 5 gigs, so you can see right there, just three files, uh, 5 gigabytes. So that's actually going to take a while. So I'm going to pause this and come back. They're finally uh, copied over. So I am going to open up uh, GoPro Studio. So the plan here is that I have three large files that are a total of more than 5 gigabytes. I've got them off my GoPro, they're on my computer. And now what I'm going to use is uh, the free GoPro Studio, which is go to the GoPro page, and you can download it. And um, basically, I'm going to use this to convert files. Um, well, what I'm going to first do is I'm going to trim and get my clips. You know, I have hours worth of video there, and I, I really don't want all of that. I just want certain pieces. So we're going to decide and you know trim out the ones I want then I'll convert them to AVI um, that's just what GoPro recommends and then I can at that point either um, edit those small clips with the GoPro Studio 
uh, software, or I could use anything else I wanted to. Um, so we're going to start. We're going to step through that. So, so I've got the uh, GoPro app open, and I'm going to go start over here on the new on, on the left side and go new files. I'm going to import my new files. Now I'm gonna, not going to take the ones that are off my uh, camera because I already made a copy. So I'm going to go desktop, and I made a GoPro folder, and I'm just going to import all of these. Okay, so I just select them all. Hit open, and it's going to pull them in. Okay, so now you can see on the left side, I've got uh, I've got uh, three videos, and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take each one, and down in the middle is the preview window, and then there's a timeline down here, and a play, fast forward, and, and reverse, and then you can see on over here there are these little um, start and stop controls. So basically what I can do is I can hit play. Okay, okay so here we are again. Um, what we're looking at is I got the three files on the left and basically I'm going to have to use this camera to record the rest of this because my PC cannot handle screen capturing and and uh, this video at the same time. So I was basically, what we're looking at here is the timeline. So this is the first video. In the middle you have a play button and you can see I'm playing the video. And then on the left here is what's important is this, uh, you know, they call it mark in and mark out, which is basically, you know, this is how I'm going to define my clips. I'm going to, this is where I'm going to start and this will be the end of a clip. So for instance, you can see I'm walking out the surfboard so I could do a start and if you look on the left, it's uh, grayed out there, so that means that is not a part of the clip. And if I decide that, you know, like, well, this is still not a very good video, so I'm going to start it here. I can just keep on uh, clicking that and it'll do a new start. Um, again, look, I'm, I'm watching. So I'm just going to do a couple quick clips. You can see, um, so I finally start walking out, that'll be a, a clip. And And what you can do is you can either just watch it, which is probably the best way to get all the good footage, and then when you're done, you click the end. Okay. Now there's there, there's a there's a whole bunch of features to all this, and I'm not going to go through it on this video, but basically uh, I'm going to there's some settings which are defaulted, and I'm going to do hot, you know medium quality AVI format. That's fine. And basically when I determine which clip I want. I, I click over here to on the on the right add clip to list and it's going to add it over here now it'll always still show that kind of first scene okay but I'm going to go ahead and make a few clips and you can also just kind of drag through and I'm going to add that clip and then I'll get another one if I can find somewhere where I actually catch a wave which is not too likely um, so let's just okay, and and it has features in here to um, do slow motion and all that. So at, at any rate, when that when that when I have my clips on the bottom right over here, I'm going to go convert all, and then you will see that these will be in a waiting status, and uh, will start to get converted. Now what happens is, the other thing I forgot to point out is that um, there is a, where am I saving it, and I, I should have changed this to save in my new desktop folder. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. What I like to do is, is, is make a folder um, underneath, and I'll call it edit, because these, or excuse me, convert. Cause these, so these are files that are clips that are being converted. That's the way you, um, GoPro talks about it. So I'm going to go ahead and create that, and that's going to take a minute. Okay, so um, I'm done uh, converting over here. So what we want to look at this app is pretty simple. There's there's three steps. There's import and convert, edit, and export. So we've imported over here. We've adjusted and took our clips. We've got them converted, and now we'll go to the next tab, edit. And you can also see I'm going to open up... Um, 
this, uh, you know, our, our folder that we that I created, GoPro and convert, and here's the, the AVI. So, so now if we look at these uh, details, instead of 5 gigs, they're still pretty, you know, but you have 100 uh, and uh, 59 megs, 400 megs, 46 megs, much smaller than the 5 gigabyte files. And if you double click on these, they're just AVIs, uh, you know, and you can, you know, watch them in uh, media player or whatever you have. So they're little clips. Now at this point you really could take these in any program you have you can import them and in fact even with these these are just mp4s you can import these into media player if you are not media player um, Windows Movie Maker or whatever you have it's just that they're extremely large and um, personally I think GoPro makes a, a, a simple app if anything to, to go and get your clips and convert them and then, and then use you know whatever program you want. Um, now you can see when I went over to the edit, uh, GoPro now displays this choose a template. So you can, they make it even easier where you can actually choose a template that already has music and everything. And um, they only have a handful uh, online. And, I mean they're they're cool, but everybody, this is from their their stash of music and videos, and so you find these all over the place. Um, so you can certainly use a template. And I'll probably have another video to go in detail about that. But when you get to this section, this edit tab, you have your your clips over here. Okay, you can add more media, more AVIs, any files you want, and then it becomes this drag and drop, and you have a timeline down here. So this is just real basic. Uh, I'm not going to do too much here, um, but <clears throat> I'm just going to drag. I'm going to drag a couple of them, and boom. Okay, and. It's just you would have your video. You can see it could start to play. Um, you could you could continue to do clips, you know, cut out parts you didn't like and that forth. And there there's there's other stuff about like Pro Tune and over here on the right, you know, you can do you can change the color scheme and stuff. Now if you wanted to do a template, see, I'll just show real quick there is a load template and um, I'll just pick uh this will see the thing is with the templates is they have how many clips you have to put in. So this one has eight cuts. So that means you're going to put in eight clips. Uh, this one only has four clips cuts. So let's just do this. You can see I'm just going to drag and drop. I got these three clips, and I'm going to just drag and drop them on the timeline here. Um, I have some duplicates because I don't really have all the clips that it wants or whatever. So um, basically, you kind of have to match up the timing here. You can go in and edit a little bit. And I, maybe perhaps I'll do a video on how to use this more but basically when you run this in is it it's got all of the uh, it does the slow motion you know whatever effects it's, it's a template so it's just going to match uh, exactly uh, how you put this in so you just drop the clips on and it does has the music and all that stuff now up here I'm going to go to my export tab and this is how I kind of finished my movie hit export and now it's going to export it's going to compile all those clips and it gives you some formats like YouTube, Vimeo and, and what have you. Uh, I actually usually find this tough with a lot of action YouTube really isn't sufficient for me. I'll usually do custom um, and I'll do something like I'll keep the file format 720 is fine for me and the frame rate I'll, I'll, I'll crank that up uh, 60 frames. Or no, I, I'll keep the frame keep the frame rate uh, to whatever it was the source. Um, but then I will hit the bit rate up. I forget what I usually do, but you can see down here it'll it'll show you that the file is getting bigger and bigger. Let's just go all the way up. Who cares? And just go export. This is really a test test movie. I'm gonna overwrite whatever I had there before, and it's gonna export it. Okay, so my video is done exporting. Um, it finished, and so I can just go open that folder uh, on my desktop that I have, and you can see I have uh, an export folder here. It's got the file, and it's an MP4. So I mean, I can just double click on this, and this is going to open up the video I just made. Um, you know, you can see how cool it makes it. Uh, they just they, they take a lot of the thinking out. So it, that's really easy if you want to just use their templates and make a pretty decent video. I mean, I don't even catch a wave here, and it, look, and it, it looks pretty cool. I just totally threw it together. Um, it's too bad there's not a big wave coming. But at any rate, um, that's just one quick way. Now, at the same time, we've already got our clips. So if you if you know you don't like that, you can open up any. Um, 
any application uh, movie editing. So I have Movie Maker here, and just to, just to quickly show you, you know, this is Movie Maker, and um, instead of you know adding you know those those four massive files, so I'm just going to go to the desktop, that GoPro folder. I'm just going to go to my uh, convert folder, and there I got those three AVIs. So if I just want to add these. This is going to go much faster to pull these in, um, and you can make a video. And, you know, you could just edit your video here, or you know, if you have a Macintosh, you know, iMovie, you know, that that type of thing, or anything, you know, you know, better than that, um, you can use. So, anyways, uh, just in summary, um, you know, the trouble or what gets overwhelmed, people overwhelmed, is just a massive long the big files and if you try to pull those over and if you try to pull a five gig file into movie maker depending on your pc it just may crash who knows so um i say you know my my tip is uh use you know use the gopro free app to uh, you know divide up into clips you then uh you know um you convert them and at that point when you convert it you can use their app it's not the greatest. In fact, I mean, it's not really good. It's a little difficult, a little clunky. Uh, there's not a lot of options. But if you want to just get your videos edited uh, quickly uh, with a couple options, throw them on YouTube. I mean, this this certainly will do it. And then especially um, if you just want to use one of their templates, really easy. Um, uh, or you can use you know whatever whatever other um, you know. Um, video editing you have. So I hope that helps. Uh, GoPro uh, cameras are just awesome. I mean, they're not just for extreme sports. You can do about anything. I hooked mine up to a lawnmower even for kicks. So um, I hope this helps and uh, let me know if there's any questions out there. Thanks.